experience. The two areas I have highlighted in our video today are maths and history. Like Leslie, I'm from St. Joseph's and my name's Kim Ballinger. Um, I was lucky enough in my final year of PRAC with some truly amazing mentors to be introduced to a way of teaching which blew my mind. Not only for its creative de delivery, but also its benefits um, with student performance and their enthusiasm to learning. Like Leslie, I also participated in this inquiry-based um, project last year. And as a first-year teacher last year, I was enthusiastic, excited and absolutely scared out of my brain um, to finally begin. But I knew that IBL would pa pl play a central role in my teaching pedagogy. In the last year, I have learned a lot about myself as a teacher, certainly about ICTs, which has now become quite um, an interest and a passion to me now and about my teaching pedagogy. I'm excited to share with you how I engage my students in my class um, and I hope you enjoy our movie. First year teacher last year, I was filled with excitement, nerves and questions. What do I need to teach? How do I teach it? How do I make them interested and engaged? Then I thought, why not ask them? My students were curious. They wanted to be challenged and they wanted to get excited about things. If I'm not learning, it's not fun, one student said. I reflected on this and decided IT would be a central role in my ability to engage them. Using ICT, students are no longer just a listener, but a creator, a director and a producer. I have found ICT not only engages my students but motivates them to go that extra mile to challenge themselves. With the use of IBL to guide my pedagogy within my classroom, not only did students become interested and engaged in their learning, but parents and colleagues were interested in what was going on in our room. Questioning is key. No matter the question, ask it and be creative in the way it is answered. Enjoy. Hello, I'm Jordan Grant reporting from St. Joseph's School. We've heard shocking reports that kids are having a brilliant time at school. This term, our big question was, looking back at the history of Australia, do you think people who committed crimes should be given a second chance? When considering my teaching philosophy, I discovered this quote. Good teachers demonstrate the ability to transform and extend knowledge rather than merely transmitting it. They draw on their knowledge of the subjects, their knowledge of their learners and their general pedagogical knowledge to transform the concepts of the discipline into terms that are understandable to their students. Good teachers show respect for their professional and their personal growth, encourage their independence and sustain high expectations of them.
This was our Term 2 History Unit website. It clearly showcases the Telstar inquiry model based around our big question. In the tuning in phase, students unknowingly participated in a social experiment where blue-eyed students were labelled as convicts and treated accordingly, and the brown-eyed students the officers. After a short while, students were told the relevance of the experiment and discussed how the treatment would have affected the convicts at that time. Students were then posed with a scenario. As a result of the catastrophe on Earth, you have the chance to be chosen as one group to travel to planet Utopia to set up a colony. This planet is similar to Earth. You must take with you everything you will need for survival on the trip and possibly forever. There will be a competition between groups to see which group to send. What can you do to make sure you are the one that goes? Explain who you are and what you can do to help on the voyage and upon arrival. Good luck! After a quick discussion about the essentials to bring to our new planet, the drawing and packing of the rocket began. I would take um, seeds because they can plant trees and they provide you with fruit branches. I choose to take a tent and a flag to my planet so if n at night time you won't get cold. The explore phase. Students began investigating our sub-questions in a range of creative ways. Throughout this phase, students used a variety of ICT tools. Phase. This saw students assuming the character of a convict and writing a diary entry on their lives back in those times. Farewell to old England forever. Farewell to my rumskulls as well. so far this term is our history unit when we did our diary entries about the convicts of the first fleet. My favourite part of our inquiry was the act phase.
having a few technical difficulties. I think we're going to move on from that one and maybe come back to it at a later date. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Jacqueline Harper, and I'm here to talk to you today about my experience in the, for the grace of teaching. So just a little bit of background knowledge. After finished university, I moved to Italy to um, live as a nanny and an English teacher for a family. I then became a governess and teacher on a station just outside of Julia Creek and officially began my teaching career at St. Michael's on Palm Island, where I taught grade three for two years. And it was one of the most challenging and rewarding experiences that I've ever had. And currently now, just starting this year, I am the year eight pastoral care coordinator at Good Shepherd in Mount Isa, which again is another big challenge and change, but I'm thoroughly enjoying that as well. <coughs> so, Throughout all of these different teaching experiences that I have had I'm, and great professional development opportunities I've been given, I believe that the key elements for engagement and engaging students are the following. I think, I believe that relationships um, are one of the most important things that we need to develop with our students. We need to have good relationships with them and an understanding of where they are and how they best learn to achieve success. Students need to feel that mutual respect between each other and with, it, with their teachers. And it doesn't matter how great your lesson may be, if you don't have that solid foundation and relationship with your students, they aren't gonna care what is going on. The second point is relevance. So your teaching needs to be relevant to the students' lives and society, something that they can relate to. And I've noticed this more just in my teaching high school because students are more likely to ask, why do I need to know this? Um, and the last one is respect. It's not just between teachers and students, but between students and each other. They need to feel safe in their environment so they feel free to explore and ask questions. So these to me are the rules of engagement cre that create the joys of teaching and allow us to feel the grace of teaching. Um, I was fortunate enough to be involved in the inquiry-based learning professional challenge last year, and it was a great way to engage students and offer opportunities to explore and guide their own learning journey, as well as provide opportunities for learning to be relevant in their own lives. So it begins with a big question that matters to the students. Students collaborate with their teachers to direct their own learning as much as possible. Um, it's flexible and has scope to take the learning in many different directions. So we use the um, Telstar model, which is tuning in, exploring, look, sort, test, act, and reflect. So why would anyone want to do IBL or engage in IBL in their classroom? It offers a great greater student success and achievement in higher order thinking. It's a great use of ICTs. It fosters a change in the way that students feel and act towards things. And students seem to be more engaged when they are asked to seek answers or questions rather than just being told information. So some strategies that I used. <coughs> we developed a big, a big question and our question was, was school as much fun for our grandparents as what it is for us? So I wanted to engage the students not just to think about what life was like, 
but compare it to their own lives and decide if they thought how we live today is better than how their grandparents lived and why they believe this. Students are given the opportunities to raise questions on the topic and with the information they already have or what they already know and what do they think the answers could be. We also used Kagan Cooperative Learning. This was implemented at St. Michael's to assist with the classroom climate and build positive relationships between the students. There was lots of hands-on activities and the lessons needed to be very exploratory. There, we needed to have little guidelines and restrictions so students feel, felt free to explore their ideas and in relation to the big question. We explored the community, what it looked like, reflecting on photos, walking around the town and seeing when buildings were erected and creating timelines. Elders from the community were also involved and this was one of the most successful things that I had in my particular classroom. Um, one of the things that I found even more amazing was that the day that we invited um, an elder to come into our classroom was the first day of the grade three NAPLAN testing. So they'd had two sessions where they were sitting and writing and reading. And then they sat and listened intently for about 40 minutes to um, Auntie Gertie talking about what life was like in when she was at school. Um, just sitting there watching them engage for so long without just no, no problems whatsoever made me realise how important it is for them to engage with the people that they are talking to because there is no way that I could have seen any other teacher come in there and them to sit and listen for that long. So it was pretty amazing to see. Um, we created a vodcast which was a culminating video of the unit. It was centred on how we enact the values of the Townsville Catholic Education Learning Framework, which are listed below. Um, just about to show you the video, I'd just like to acknowledge that <coughs> in the video that there are people that may have passed away. Okay, so again, we have some technical difficulties which we will come back to a little bit later. Um, so to finish up, the grace of teaching to me is all about experiencing success through the eyes of your students. No matter what the context, the classroom, all students want to feel supported and have an experience that is memorable. It is about engaging them within a safe environment where they, are f where they feel free to explore their imagination and ideas and experience success. The most important aspect of teaching and engaging students is first to build that positive and safe relationship where students feel accepted and confident in their own abilities, then by creating relevant and explorative learning experiences to assist them in their personal and academic journey. To me, that is what the grace of teaching is all about. Thank you.
Okay, good afternoon everyone. My name is Terry Ann Porger and I'm from St. Catherine's Catholic College in Proserpine and I'm really hoping that I can show you my podcast today. So we'll just wait and see. My journey through inquiry-based learning in 2012 was a moment of grace in my teaching career. Inquiry-based learning helped me to engage students in a supportive learning environment and also engage myself. I was amazed with the results in my classroom and the high quality student learning. I developed three units of work through, through my IBL journey. In, and these were in the key learning areas of maths and history. My history unit was called, What is my history? And the students were required to develop their own set of questions so they could inquire about their childhood. They then planned and prepared their interviews with their parents. These interviews were then conducted and recorded in front of the class. The student engagement, learning and achievement was evident throughout this unit. Students who don't normally participate in discussions joined in enthusiastically. They took responsibility for developing their own questions and this provided them with a real sense of ownership of their learning. Inquiry-based learning helped me to provide differentiation in my class, especially in the area of maths. The nature of this learning style provides no boundaries for students as they problem solve. IBL allowed students to engage with their peers in small groups through investigations, constructing new, new knowledge, and then discussing and reflecting on their discoveries. The students were the driving force behind their investigations and they excitedly took on the role of the teacher. I was pleased to see the children's risk taking and imagination was noticeably enhanced. You will see some small snippets of my maths units in my podcast in the form of open-ended questions and small group data collection tasks. I now wish to share with you the podcast that I created at the end of my IBL journey. It showcases just how fun and engaging IBL can be in a prep classroom. Enjoy, I hope.
Would you like to find out, Josie? How many children said yes they're going to get married? How many? How many are getting married? How many said they're not going to get married? Okay, so this is my vodcast from um, last year with my grade three class. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. 